hello everyone good day good day good day i hope everyone is doing well okay it's monday okay and the sun isn't shining but we you know we're still alive anyway folks i you know i am in the process here of wrapping i'm doing a cheesecake for my friend these people love their cheesecake folks and you know what i don't mind because they bring the ingredients and i get the views <laughs> okay so this is a <clears throat> cheesecake um and this one is with um vanilla wafers and this vanilla wafer i make it myself and you know these are like little cookies you make and <clears throat> you know she would prefer I prefer to make them myself than buy them in the store i did a video on it there and i'll put it up um later on when i upload it load it and these were uh, the wafers or cookies and what i did i um ground them up in the um food processor or you could use a blender and uh, because this would this use as the base of the cheesecake okay so that is there right now my hands are clean and wash my hands and everything and we're gonna add butter to it about three tablespoons of butter to about 16 um um wafers um the other day, um, some I did um, on chocolate, and this one is on um, vanilla. So that's it basically. And <clears throat> I like to use my hand and just mix up everything. So you're gonna mix it up with the butter, and because this is gonna be the base of the cheesecake. And you also have, you know, I'm pretty sure I did a video on um, chocolate wafers, and I did put it up on um, yeah, it's it's there on YouTube. So I did one on um, the vanilla wafers and I'll put that one up for you also. So this is it. This is about three tablespoons of butter melted. And you also show folks, make sure your cream cheese, put your cream cheese out to become at room temperature because it um it's easier to um to do when it's like that, okay? And what I do to my baking pan folks, I just grease it and um Okay, it's grease. So this is gonna be the base of the cheesecake, the wafer. So we're gonna just put it in the bottom of the pan and just um, flatten it out. I did a few videos, but you know, I like to do videos on this anyway. So, so this we're gonna flatten it out. Just use your hand. Make sure your hands are clean, folks. And then that's it because, you know, once your hands are clean and you don't have 10 inch fingernails, <laughs> you know, folks. You know, that's it. Because, you know, all side of stuff come up underneath that fingernail. You know, I don't know people. Anyway. It's a two inches one, right? Yeah, I'm going to leave that one alone. See mine, you can hardly see mine. Mine is shorter, they come and that's why we want to keep it. Nice and hygiene that way. So you just um press this out. And I'm going to put this in the oven, in the fridge for uh, about um, 15 minutes. And at that time, I will be doing um, the, tr the cream cheese, okay? And what I'm going to be using is a fresh strawberry topping. And what I do with the strawberry, folks, I just steam it on the fire, then put it in the blender. The first time I ever blend it up. And then I put it on the fire with the sugar in it, and it come down to a nice nice um like you said strawberry um so that's going to be the topping for it and it's when you do it that way folks it's strawberry you get a nice red color when you see this you're going to think it's a food um coloring but it's not so i just thought about it i just sat I, I cook it a little bit on the fire and then i just um put it in the blender and blend it and put it to cook with the sugar in it and it come out with a very beautiful color So this is it here, the, uh, this is the base. This will be the base of the cheesecake. And I'm gonna put it in there for around 15 minutes or so while I get the rest of the um, cheesecake. Oh, and folks, I'm using um, my coconut cream. 
um, not from the cream in the store. I, you just buy it in a coconut cream, one of the best one, and you just use your unmixer and mix it up. Okay, put the make sure you put the coconut cream in the fridge to get cold, right? Not in the freezer, in the fridge. Yeah. So, and it, you know, leave it in there overnight to get really cold, and the next day you take it out and you take off all the cream from the top. And that is what you're gonna whip up there. So this I'm gonna put in the fridge right now, folks, to get cold and nice, okay? For about 15 minutes. So folks, this is what my coconut cream is right now, see? I did it and put it in the fridge and this is all cream and it's coconut, all natural. No, um, so right now I'm just going to wash my hands and um, start beating up the cream cheese and I got to add the cream to the cheese and some vanilla and some lemon rind and a little bit of lemon juice also. The lemon rind gives it a very nice taste. I got my vanilla. Okay, and I need confectioner sugar also. That is what you call ice and sugar, folks. So right now I'm gonna I am gonna beat up cream cheese and I'm using two 240 gram cream cheese folks see you have to leave them out so they get, so they become soft okay folks I know it make a lot of noise at your head so I'm gonna do it over the sink Folks, this is the cream cheese here all done. Okay, I'm gonna add um a cup of um coconut cream to it. And like I said, if you and you can make um this cream from even chick cheese folk. You could have even chick cheese um cream, you don't have to go if you're a person that not into the dairy thing. I'm gonna do a video on that so and show you how to do chick peas. Um chick peas um cream from chick peas. So I need a cup. And folks, this is so awesome. This is all coconut. You just you, you can use coconut milk too, folks. And you do the same thing. You put it in the fridge and let it become very, very Hard. And when you do the coconut milk, you're going to put a little bit of um, ice and sugar in there, you know, and a little bit of vanilla to do it. Okay. So the rest I'm just going to put back in the fridge. And it lasts up to about seven days. See, this is the cream here. Look at that. Oh, that's cream. That's the cream right there. And that's all coconut. That's all natural. I'm gonna be adding I just put a little bit of um confectioner sugar in the to do the coconut cream so right now I'm gonna add a half a cup of um confectionery or ice and sugar whatever you want to call it to that to the cream cheese 
And now I'm just get that mix. And some vanilla. A little bit of lemon or um, lemon and some lemon rice. All gonna be added um to that. So I'm gonna use about a half a cup of um confectionery sugar. And the way for us they're not very sweet um folks um when you have the recipe if you call for a cup of sugar add into that whole cup in mine you know so so this is not gonna be a sweet sweet cheesecake i know that's the whole idea with cheesecake it has to be sweet 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 and um in the strawberries i just put what um maybe about a cup of tablespoon of um sugar in it i didn't put a lot but you can still have sweet things but yeah you know you just lower the amount of sugar because some of these recipe when you watch them folks and the amount of sugar that they call for you know okay so right now i have the um the coconut cream and the um sugar what do you think to? Get as as possible. Once in a while, you know, you have to stop and just um, scrape it down to just make everything all even. You don't want to have some done and the rest isn't done. So once in a while you just stop and do that let's scrape it down i'm gonna add in the lemon rime at this time and the vanilla and a little bit of um i'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla two teaspoon of vanilla And this is vanilla extract folks this is the real stuff huh? not the um artificial one well you know if that's what you um, have access to folks you just use what you can but like i said vanilla is not very hard to make you just buy the beans and it's just vanilla bean and alcohol that's it folks so i'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon not a lot maybe about a half a teaspoon that's it and I'm just gonna beat up everything right now. So here we go. do it wow let's see how creamy that is yeah that's what we want to get so see the coconut cream very good works out very good look at that okay so guys when we come back um, we'll just add this on okay 15 minutes okay guys the cake is um base has been in the fridge for about 15 minutes so we're gonna apply the cheesecake top into it now and like I said this was done with coconut cream instead of um, dairy cream and I did a video up there to show you how to do coconut cream instead of dairy okay and some lemon zest a little lemon juice and um, vanilla extract 
and the lemon zest folks just give it such a nice taste and flavor you know okay so you just um and this is going to be in the fridge for a few hours then when we take it out we'll add the top into it or you can even leave it for overnight okay we're going to leave it in there for a couple of hours then we'll put the topping on and then put it back again so this is done smoothly and always have the hands wash 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 all the time folks it's clean hands have certain things where you do with your hands it's much better and um and you want to make sure your hands are clean okay nice smooth um so this is gonna i'm gonna leave it in the um fridge for um a couple hours you can leave it overnight but my friend is gonna come to pick it up and so it's not even gonna be cut folks he's coming to, today to pick it up so I'm just going to leave it in there for a few hours and I add a strawberry top into it and that is a nice strawberry um, it's almost like a jam consistency it's all puree out and it's thick and nice so it's just going to go over it So this I'm gonna put in the fridge for a few hours so I think when it's totally done I'll show you but like I said it it won't be cutting <laughs> this one won't be cutting she's gonna come pick it up because um I think this is for um, some occasion she's doing she didn't state it but so we're not gonna hit it well you know all the cheesecake down here folks is very nice so so folks that's what it looks like here now and it's gonna go in the fridge for the next couple hours it's now four she might get here later on about next couple hours so folks that is the cheesecake there please like share and subscribe to the channel and go over and folks um go over to jammy Wood. and you know this guy is doing so much good stuff for these kids um that he has there training them right now folks he's using a van that was loaned to him you know to go around with the kids and um you know take movie and do the shots and stuff like that but the person coming back for the van so he's trying to um get people to um to donate to jammy hood before him to get a new vehicle folks so that would be appreciated if you guys could go over to um fire at jammy hood and um just leave a you know a small donation whatever you have every little bit counts because right now pretty soon he doesn't have any transportation to take the um the kids them around because you know you have to take them to different location to um do their shoots and things like that and folks believe you me a lot of these kids helping a lot of these kids because uh, he has quite a few there and these one is off the street they're getting um skills and most of them when they leave they end up with their own youtube channel and they know how to edit they know how to film and this is what he's teaching them, you know, and I think Richard Brown do the same thing too. But um, fire is like it's called Jammy Hood right now. You want to turn Jammy Hood like you have Hollywood, Bollywood. So you want to make Jammy Hood. And you know, folks, he's doing a good job, but it's um, not easy. So right now, the person who loaned him the van is coming to get it. So he's trying to put together and trying to ask people if anybody can help towards um, him getting a little transportation so he could go around and... um. You know with the with the kids and um keep doing keep doing good stuff keeping off the street so he's putting the camera in their hand and take out the gun you know folks and that's what these kids in jamaica need right now you know so folks if you can anybody would like to go over to jammy wood and support and show a support financial support and also subscribe to the channel too folks that helps too and keep watching the movie okay so um folks go over there and support fire and jammy hood Big up Richard Brown film also and um Soji 
helping the needy Marie and Melo and um, big up my friend Deacon okay they are all my friends yeah everybody's my friend oh I mentioned and hi Valin big up yourself so later on folks I'll come back and show you put the topping on and because it's gonna be gone so it won't be cut here because it's not this one isn't for cutting okay so folks thanks for um, subscribing thanks for watching and thanks for supporting and um, you have yourself a very good day peace